What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Red Seat Radio. My name is Corbin, and I know it's a double upload today. It's not the norm for this channel, but I had to come on here and talk about this with you guys because the Red Sox made their first big roster move since they started slumping to begin the season. And this one is one that we have been asking for for a very long time. As I'm sure you could tell by the thumbnail of this video, Travis Shaw has been sent down to the minor leagues. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get into everything to do with Travis Travis Shaw being sent down. We're also going to talk about who's getting brought up for the Red Sox and what impact they're going to have on this team. Now, it's more than likely that the Red Sox are probably going to make more roster moves in the next couple of hours, probably by the time you're watching this video. So there will most likely be another video on those roster moves coming out tomorrow, but I wanted to get this one out because I think most of us on Red Sea Radio, we've been, I've been seeing in the comments in the live streams, I've been talking about it, that this Travis Shaw thing was a long time coming. But before I get into that today, do me a favor, make sure if you have not already, we are only about 25 subscribers away from 1000. That is not a ton of people at all. Let's see if we can get there by mid-May, maybe even the first week of May. So if you're new here, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you guys are hitting that like button as well. It helps out these videos a ton. It's the best way to help this channel out if you are already subscribed, and it would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one. Let's get into it. While it hasn't been fully confirmed by the Red Sox yet, sources close to the Red Sox have told multiple reporters and reliable reporters have made stories. So it's pretty much a done deal that Travis Shaw will be DFA'd or optioned by the Red Sox, pretty close to when this video is coming out. Um, if you don't know what DFA'd or optioned means, it means that they have been sent down to the minor leagues. They are no longer on the 40 man roster. Now, I think most of us aren't really surprised by this move at all. In fact, I probably would have done this move sooner. Travis Shaw has started the year 0 for 19 with the Red Sox. And I think the plan going into the season, the reason he was on this roster was to be a powerful bench bat that could get big hits in late innings. At the same time, the other reason I think he ended up on this roster to begin with was because of Bobby Dahlbeck. Now, Bobby, we've known tends to slump time to time and to have a reliable, powerful bench bat sitting there waiting to take over in case Bobby needs a little bit of time to figure himself out. You've got Travis Shaw there. Unfortunately, that did not work out. Again, I'm not surprised by this move. I don't think anyone else will be surprised by this move. Honestly, I'm pretty glad they made this move. Whether it was Cora, Heim, or some other executive that ended up making the move, I think they did the right thing. Now, the person replacing Travis Shaw is definitely an interesting one, and that's Franchi Cordero. Now, in my video where I fixed the Red Sox, I mentioned bringing him up because I think he could be a very valuable piece to this Red Sox team. Most of you know Franchi as an outfielder, but he also plays first base. In fact, he'd been playing first base for the Woo Sox the last couple of games. One, because Tristan Cassis is slumping a little bit, but two, I think because the Red Sox knew that this move was coming, it was just a matter of when, and they wanted Cordero to to be ready. Bringing Cordero up, in my opinion, is not to platoon with Jackie. One, because he's a lefty. And two, because in my opinion, I think Cordero is going to be a Travis Shaw that can actually hit the ball. He will be a kind of platoon for Bob. Maybe they even put him in for a week or two full time to get Bobby back confident and ready to go. Um, but also to use him as a powerful bench bat in later innings. He's got some speed too. And this could be a great addition to this Red Sox lineup. This year so far, Frenchie has been hitting the ball really well in AAA. He's got a really great stat line. Right now in AAA, he is hitting not 296 for average, a 378 slug, and a 913 OPS. He also has a couple of massive home runs this year. Franchi, I know, has had a rough go of it in the major league, especially last year. He did not look good at all. But if you look back at his spring training at-bats and you look at what he's doing in Worcester right now, it seems as though some of his mechanics have changed. He's got a different approach to the plate, and it could be a really great addition to this Red Sox team. Now, there obviously are some concerns with Franchi. It's not like he's going to come in and be a superhero and save this Red Sox team. He has a fairly high strikeout rate this year um, and that's definitely something to be concerned with especially if his main role is going to be that late inning bench bat or even a platoon for Bobby Dahlbeck who also has a very high strike rate right now the Red Sox need guys that can get on base and hopefully Franchi when he comes up continues to have that 918 OPS and be able to move
move runners along because at the end of the day, we don't need Franchi to be a superstar home run hitter. We need him to put balls up the middle. We need him to take walks, lay down bunts, do what he needs to do to get the guys who really are the superheroes of this team across the plate. In my opinion, I think the Red Sox made the right move here. I also think Franchi Cordero being up here, being hungry for success to do well in the big leagues as something to this lineup that we haven't had so far this year. A little bit of fire, a little spark plug to this offense that could rejuvenate the entire team. Like I said, this will not be the only roster move that is made today. So keep an eye out tomorrow for a video on that. This is Corbin editing from the future. And I totally forgot to ask you guys what your opinion on all of this was. I'm assuming it's good, but I just want to make sure. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of Franchi Cordero coming up. Let me know what you think of Travis Shaw being sent down. Let me know what you think of everything in general. Thank you guys. If you've made it to the end of this one, do me a favor, make Make sure you guys have hit that subscribe button if you have not already. Like I said, we are only about 25 subscribers away from 1,000. Let's see if we can get there in the first week of May. Also, make sure you guys have hit that like button as well. It helps out these videos a ton. Would mean a lot to me. Thank you all very much for clicking on this one, and I will see you in the next one.